What's up gamers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most powerful OP pats of the game to get Link looking like this. Yes, he's wearing the champion's leather. He has the Hylian shield. He's even got some white Lionel items on him. This is going to be one of the first of many optimal pats that people come up with for getting really OP items from the start. Now, now this is literally going to take place after you have access to the paraglider, which means you can look at my map and tell that, look at this, there is nothing revealed on this map. Just so you know that this is a complete fresh game. Now, we're going to have to do a little bit of prep work. So all we have to do is launch in that tower. So before we do that, we're going to need a few things here. Now, the best place to go to get all these things, you're not going to believe this. It's literally just outside of here. That's all you got to do. Head outside here, and this is where we're going to have our stuff. Now, you already have a bunch of arrows. There are arrows everywhere in the game, so make sure you stocked up on arrows or you're collecting a bunch of arrows. That's one thing you got to do as you're progressing through the game. Now, this grass over here is going to drop something we need. We're going to go ahead and just cut the grass. And then we should get a secret reveal, a restless cricket. Now, we're going to be collecting about nine of these restless crickets here. So we're going to need three to make an elixir of something. So we're going to collect nine. So I'm just going to go ahead, chop up the grass, and we will jump ahead to when I finish collecting all these crickets. Okay, that's nine crickets. Now, the next thing we're going to need are some bokoblin horns. But while we're here, we actually need some fire fruit. So if you don't have this in your inventory, this tree has exactly three. And three is all we're going to need for what we're doing. I believe there is a bokoblin camp right there. It is right there. We're going to go ahead and we just need three bokoblin horns. So let's run over to this camp real fast. That is not a great place to shield serve. <laughs> These guys should be a little bit quick to take out. Shouldn't be too complicated. Oh, okay. Let's not die here. This guy should... There's our bokoblin horn. There we go. There's another bokoblin horn. And there is another one. Okay. Bokoblin horn's all done. Okay. Now we're going to head back to Lookout Landing. Once you are back in Lookout Landing, make sure to quickly head down here to this underground shelter over here. And if you haven't opened this up, just talk to this guy and it shall open up for you. Now, when you head down here, you're going to find the cooking pot, which is right over here with the guy sitting down by the cooking pot. That's that's exactly where it is. Open up your plus, And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing ourselves one of these and three crickets. One, two, three. And then you're going to cook it. Press X to skip so we can go a little bit faster. So we're going to want to go ahead and just make all of these real fast. So grab another one. Now, the reason why we're making these elixirs is so that we can actually be able to reach Hyrule Castle. That's the point here. And when you fly, you want to have stamina for it. Now, oh, that's a good one. We got extra on this one. Now, you don't have to really necessarily use all of them to get there. You probably just need one extra one. But the other ones are there just in case for some reason. If you fall in the water and you got to swim and you have a little extra stamina, you can pop that anytime. Now, once you're done with that, you have extra food maybe prepared with you. You got your arrows. You got your fire fruit. You got everything we need. I think that's it. We can head over right there and the pathway begins. And the cutscene is my first time doing this, so here we go. Also, I don't know if this is a myth or not, but it feels like every time you launch at a lookout tower on the first time, it feels like you just fly much more higher. I don't know if it's just me. So we're gonna skip this cutscene, and as, as soon as we're in the air, we're gonna hit Paraglide ASAP. Hey, okay, surface map is updated. The sky map is updated. And as soon as this screen turns off, you're going to be able to fly. So smash X so you can immediately paraglide right from the start. And we're heading to the castle. All right, there we go. OK, so now we're going to just head over here and you're not going to pop your stamina's until you need to. Now, don't forget, if you need to pop a stamina, you're going to just simply hit the plus menu R and then you're going to press one of these. OK, so you get it to the red so you don't have to waste it fully and you can actually consume your stamina. Now, also, while we're in the air flying here, I want you to mark up the following spots. So we're going to open up this real quick. Make sure you pan towards the bottom if it's panned towards the top. And what you're going to do is you're going to put a pin on the castle here, something like this. So we're going to have red over here. We're going to put a blue over there. We're also going to put a green over here. There we go. Looks like we got some stuff settled pretty well. And then we're going to put the next one, which is yellow. So your red marker is going to be where we're landing. And then we'll talk about the other markers once we get there. So continue heading down. You can dive if you want to preserve a little bit of stamina. OK, now my stamina is red and I'm going to pop my next stamina right here. There we go and continue your journey. 
And don't worry, there's nothing that you're going to fight when we land. So you're safe there. All right, Hyrule Castle. The moment we arrive here. Now that you got to the castle early, you should hit that subscribe button so that Link can defeat all these enemies and eventually beat Gandorf. All right, now, once you arrive here, we're heading towards our first mark. We're gonna just head straight. The music does change. <laughs> it gets a little little bit spooky in here. Breath of the Wild boss is not here. You don't have to fight anyone in this, in this area. Okay, cool. So once you're here, you're gonna head straight up here. So take any of these steps up to the right or left. Now we don't have to waste any arrows here. So what you can do is you can hit R1, basically like you're gonna throw your weapon. Go ahead, select the item by tapping the up button you want. And I'm selecting fire fruit and you're gonna light this on fire. There we go. Looks like I have a stick already, so I can just oh, pick that up. And we're gonna get this one on fire too. Always preserve arrows. I, I, I first never preserved arrows here and I ran out when I needed them. This opens up with the classic sound from all Zelda games when you find something. You're gonna pop this bad boy open. And there you go, you got your champion's leather. So that is part one of what we need to do. Boom, Link looking good and looking fresh. Okay, now from here, we're going to just pick up a few weapons that are already in this castle. And it's right over here next to us. So if you go up here, we're gonna find ourselves a nice shield. The Royal Guard Shield, picked it up for now, just because it's better than most of the stuff we have. This is a Royal Guard Sword, so let me drop a weapon like this stick. I don't need the stick. There you go, Royal Guard Sword, we got that. Then we are going to go up here, and you will see another weapon here. So let's just make room for this. We don't need this. We're gonna go grab this. The Royal Guard Spear, so we got that. Next. We're gonna go to this spot to the right, staircase up here, turn around and then just jump right here. And you're gonna pick up some more arrows to help you. That's 10 arrows. And right over the statue is a Royal Guards bow, but make sure you have enough room. So let me just go ahead and drop. These things are 50. Now that we're done, we're gonna just make sure you guys can see exactly where we are. So that is the throne. We're dropping down right over here. Now, if you open up your map while hitting the minus button, you're going to see that it looks like we're inside and there's multiple floors here. Don't worry, just hit the X button and boom, we get another better view at this. And we're going to be heading towards our blue marker next. That is the next one on our list. So let's go to our blue marker so we can just walk straight out the same entrance we came in. You see that right below us over here? We're just going to drop down like this. Boom. And then we're gonna drop again. And we are now in Princess Zelda's room, just like that. And we're gonna open this chest. And the Royal Guards cap is here. So now we have a hat with plus four armor. We got plus five and plus two with the legs, but we're gonna also upgrade those legs. So don't worry. While we're here, there's also more arrows here. Grab those and then go ahead and grab this other Royal Guards bow. So now we got two bows that do 50 damage. That's looking pretty good. There is also a, another weapon here if you want to grab this. This is the Royal Guards Claymore. It does 32 damage. So I'm going to go ahead and drop another item for that. Probably this thing over here. There we go. Looking good. We're looking good on weapons. Now that we're here, you can go ahead and ascend to the top. So you cleared out this room. We got some goodies already. We got some good spicy goodies. Okay, so now as you can look at our map, we're pretty much done with this marker, right? We're done with this this spot. Next thing we're going to be doing is heading towards this green marker. Just follow along. Don't worry. So we're just going to power glide from here. Drop down here. Now, these guys are all here. They look terrifying. Just run through them. Do some zigzags. Don't worry. You should be fine. They're not going to hit you as long as you you just, you know, do a little zigzags, do a little movements. I did not get hit. There we go. We are safe and sound. OK, the next thing you want to do over here is we're going to climb up and tap that shrine. That way we have a fast travel anytime you guys want to come back to the castle and we don't have to do a flight to come here. So go ahead, just run up to it. Tap that. We're going to hit skip here. And that's it. Now we can travel to this point anytime because we are going to need that. Next up, we're going to come here and you're going to drop down. Turn around into this and go down into B3 of 
Hyrule Castle. Now, the reason I'm making us pick up some armor is so that our defense can be just higher than what it's supposed to normally be at. So here we are. We're going to drop down ASAP. So just drop down right away. Open up your Ultra Hand. Hold that door out. And you're going to pop open this chest right here. And this is going to be the Royal Guards boots. And that's going to be a two armor upgrade over the two Archaic Warm Greaves you're wearing. So there we go. Link is looking a little more dapper, a little more stronger. Got a better equipment on. And from here, you can explore if you choose to. But for the sake of the video, uh, let's grab this too while we're here. There, that Royal Broadsword. Drop that axe. Grab that thing. If you choose to explore, you can grab more weapons or items while you're here, but we no longer need to be here anymore. So I'm going to pretty much get us out of here. Exit back up the way you came. Oh, there's also a weapon here. So go ahead and grab this too. Okay, we're going up the steps. Make a left, keep going up the steps. All right, so while we're here, I'm going to make sure hit X again. And the only marker now that matters is the yellow marker. So uh, prepare to head to the yellow marker with me. If you want, you can fight these guys and grab their horns. They're pretty good. We're going to add them on weapons, but we're going to encounter a few more later on. But if you want to, feel free to do that while you're there. But there's just too many. I, I'm not, I wouldn't do it, <laughs> especially if you're new at the game. So far, we've seen no big fights. We're doing pretty OK here, right? No enemy contact yet. So now we're down here. Right down. So there you go. So you got you basically just have to go all the way down here, right behind this area. And once you're here, we are going to look at see this in the water. You want to grab that fish real quick. So let's go grab that fish. That's a hearty salmon. It'll get your hearts all the way up. Now, pay attention here. This is very important because this is a panic moment for a lot of people. Now, when you're climbing up these steps here, you're going to see something very scary. It, it is freaky. There it is. That thing will murder you. So as soon as you see it, head off and head down here. I'm hanging on the ledge here. The music is creepy. I already got goosebumps hearing this thing. OK, and it just died because some of it fell down. So go back up because it's dead and go ahead and pick these up, too, while you're here. Now, these things are going to be made into potions or elixirs that pretty much resist gloom. Very good, very good. It helps a lot. So we're gonna go ahead, pass this, jump up, and continue to follow this path. Okay, that's gloom. If you stay on it long, your heart actually disappears. You don't want that. All right, now that we're up here, it's looking pretty nice. All you gotta do is once again, light something on fire. So I'm not gonna waste an arrow here, so I'm just gonna throw a fire fruit. And that's the third fire fruit you need. That's going to open up a chest over here. And I'm going to make room by dropping my lowest shield for something really spicy. The Hylian shield, ladies and gentlemen, 90 defense already at the start of your game. We got this and you're looking pretty good. You got some gear, you got your Hylian shield, but we're going to continue on to something more powerful. The white Lionel that actually exists at the bottom of Hyrule Castle. Now, if you don't want to see the bottom of Hyrule Castle, I totally understand. There's no cutscenes that trigger during this. It's just, you, you can fall down there. It's very big, but this is optimal, I guess. And um, if you want to break barrels, grab some arrows and stuff like that. But anyway, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to head down and you can drop. Just make sure you don't hit the floor. It's not going to be like crazy, crazy dark. There we go. And we are at the bottom at Gloom's approach. OK, so then we're going to just find the enemies. The moment you see enemies here, you know you're going in the right direction. There we go. The depths. So we have touched the underground here. All right. So if you see these guys over here on the wall, that means you're doing a great job. You're going to run into it. So pretty much head down this way. And it's getting a little more creepier. The music, don't let the music get to you. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drop very slowly paraglide into another hole over here. There you go. And then drop down and then we're going to climb up here. OK, I'm up and then one's going to drop over here. You're going to knock him down. All right, the second one's going to drop. Oh, did he not drop? There he is. There he is. We're going to knock him down. OK, next up on the list, then we're going to take our bow 
Um, you can take a more powerful bow if you want. Or attack all these five of them however you want. I had some rubies that I had from uh, just walking around. Uh, so I'm going to use these to do some damage to these guys. If you get hit, don't worry. You're not dead yet. If you have enough arrows, you should be able to nuke these guys here. I'm doing this live, guys. Not pre-recorded here. Because this is the most important part of this. If you're confident enough, go ahead and you can go fight them and do whatever you need. The music has stopped. Pretty good. I know there's people screaming that we just wasted rubies. I understand your pain. Um, go ahead and pick up the, the loot here. These black horblin horns actually give you like 22 fuse power, which is going to be huge. Absolutely huge for our fights coming up. There we go, because obviously we did talk about Lynels at the start of this video. Uh, so quickly just grab this. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Don't want to get anything. So play around with whatever weapons you think you want to get here. Grab some arrows that you may have dropped. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... Oh, wow. Did my Royal Guard Sword actually go low? That's unfortunate. Okay, don't use your Royal Guard Sword. <laughs> use other swords. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out my best items. So I'm going to throw these guys out here too. It's going to be a little session here, guys. And then I'm going to take sort by. So I'm going to hit Y by fuse power. I'm going to hold all my best stuff here. One, two, three. So I got that. And then I guess this is the best ones I have for now. A blue horblin horn. I have three black ones and I have a diamond that I got from mining. So that's like 25, 22. Uh, that's 11. That's not too crazy. Oh, we have all four. OK, great. So then what you're going to do is you're going to drop them. OK, and basic thing here to do pretty much is go ahead and feel free to fuse it to your weapons. You're probably going to want to save this exact sword, the Royal Guard sword for the fight. So like if I was to have this one, you can see the damage we'd get on this thing when we fuse a Black Horde horn. That is going to be 44 damage on that one. Uh, so that's 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 pretty good. Here is our Claymore. Just do all the fusing here that you need. Boom. The diamond takes a bit to break, so you get some good damage off of this. So I'm going to fuse this over here. And basically the, the goal is just fuse weapons with these Horblin horns because it's going to help the fight so much. There we go. OK, now, once you fuse all your weapons, I got these three cooking pots here because we're going to be cooking up some goodies. These are from the Sky Island, so these are going to be thrown out via your Zonai devices. And the first thing I'm making is going to be a hearty salmon. So I'm going to hold that. Chuck that guy in here. And that's going to be giving me eight hearts in total once I get rid of this gloom stuff. Now, the next thing uh, that you could cook if you want to cook is um, some gloom resistance stuff. There we go. Put that in there. There we go. Three minutes and 30 of gloom resistance. And boom, boom. Gonna throw that in there. Maybe throw some chicken. Do we got some chicken in here? I don't have chicken. Okay. Throw some apples in there. Let's see what we get. This one's 11 minutes and 30 seconds. That was fire. I'm going to remember this recipe. Uh, the warding meat skewer. So that's going to protect you uh, a bit from gloom resistance. Um, it's going to be pretty big. Gloom resistance is going to help during this fight. Now, once you're done with all that, you're not really out of here yet. You got to climb up this thing, which is where you initially ran up on these guys. Equip a really crappy weapon, like a crappy spear or something like that. We're going to go ahead and climb up here. And you just want to want to kill these bats. There we go. There's, a, there's like two more down here and they're going to be very annoying and you don't want to die after all that hard work you just did. So kill all the key spats with the spear. Keep them away from you. Also, feel free to save at this point, too. I would drop a hard save just so you have your your, your goodies. I'm just going to drop down and kill these guys. Collect their eyeballs. Collect the loot. There you go. These eyeballs are also nice because they're like homing arrows, so they, 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 they work very nicely. All right. So once you're all done here, you killed all the monsters. We're going to look a little forward here. Don't do anything crazy. And you're going to see our boy. He's right there. A corrupted Lionel. Not an easy one. And once you see him, don't worry about it. You're just going to leave real quick because the auto save will put you before the monsters for some reason. I don't know why. Even when I hard save, it acts a little weird. Um, so get back to your shrine. 
All right, once you arrive back at the shrine, you're gonna notice that that, that Gloomheart just got fixed. So it's it's now gone because we're no longer underground. So what you wanna do is go ahead, eat something. Uh, don't touch any of the food, the three foods we just made, but just eat something, get your heart back up. All right, you're now ready to go. And now we're gonna go right back to the underground. We just had to come up here to fix our hearts if anything happened and also come to that shrine to save as a checkpoint. Just in case, so now you have an auto save pretty much up there, most likely. Now, you're just going to do the same thing all over again. Drop down. Once again. Oh, I didn't even notice this here. Is this a light route here? Well, let me just go ahead and activate that real quick. You yeah, might as well tap this. By the way, this is literally under the shrine you just saved at, so it's pretty cool. And the names are backwards, if you didn't know. Cool. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know this was here. <laughs> this is my first time realizing there's a light route down here. All right. It's very easy to get distracted in this game. <laughs> even when I'm making this video, I'm getting easily distracted. All right, drop back down and you're going to glide right where we did it last time. So look where the enemies are pretty much. There they are. It's on the wall. This is where you're going to drop. But this time now there's no enemies here. And so if your Lionel fight doesn't go so hot, you can literally reload at a point where there's no other monsters in the game. Very important, by the way, to do that. We're going to put on a, a good weapon. What is this one? This is the Diamond Reaper. Okay, my good bow is equipped. I got 33 arrows. We're looking good. And I'm going to just hard save again, just for the heck of it. Okay, so now, right before the fight, before you drop down, you're going to go ahead and pop your food. So eat your hearty fish so you have yellow hearts. Those yellow hearts will save you from taking one hit at least and this is our gloom resistance so that we don't die or lose hearts by standing on something you have a little bit of a longer time so we're gonna eat that and there's our gloom resistance so when you jump first thing you do he's gonna notice you this is where you pull your arrow out and you want to shoot at the face and he's gonna get stunned now the problem is if you ride him completely and attack him because he's a he's he's a little bit uh gloomed you lose all the hearts by just riding him that's the reason why we cannot jump on his back and why we have to burn weapons to fight him. This is a charge attack, which you can parry by hitting A and facing him. This is the cleave attack, which he'll run into you and try to do. You can parry that as well. That's one. He'll do a second one like this or three. He does a side swing. You can parry that one as well. As long as you keep your shield up, you should be able to dodge and uh, parry them or you should be able to withstand half these attacks because this shield is just really good. And then when he hits you, you get yeah, major damage and you can't recover your hearts. When you see him scream and you see all the effects around him, he's going to explode. Make sure to run the heck away from him because it is going to be a nasty explosion. So just get really far back. After he blows up, he's going to be open for another arrow shot to the face. You're going to have to pay attention for when he runs away from you and begins a flame attack. He's going to shoot three fireballs at you. You have the option to run away from them and dodge them, or you can face them on with your shield and parry them as each one comes. He's going to attack you in succession three times when he runs up on your face. So he does one, two, and a side swing for three. So if you fail to parry any of those three, he's going to run away from you. If you parry any of them during that time, he just will go into another loop and, and keep attacking you. So you wanna keep making sure that you're able to hit him on those open moments when he's parried. So make sure you are pressing the ZR button to pull out your arrow as fast as you can during those moments where he is vulnerable. You pretty much rinse and repeat that this entire fight. Make sure to switch out weapons when they break or your bows when they break and you should be able to easily conquer and destroy this lino, collecting all of its goods. And you now killed White Lionel, making you very powerful because it's one of the harder linos in the game. Boom! That's it. <laughs> yeah, so you can pretty much think about. So the White Maid, Sable Horn, we got a lino hoof. Large crystallized charge, looking good. White Maid Lionel Maze Horn. Savage Lino Bow. Oh my god, this stuff is crazy. Savage Lino Shield. All right, so obviously we're gonna drop another one. So not only did we just get those, but we got some got some pretty, pretty good upgrades down here. By the way, I'm not leaving you hanging. I, I got you the Royal Guard boots and I got you the Royal Guard cap. We're gonna get the top. I don't want you guys to not have the set. So just go straight here. When you open the castle doors straight from Lookout Landing, go all the way up, follow this pathway. Follow this pathway all the way up. As soon as you arrive at this gate, make a right. Go inside of it. 
Use Ultra Hand. Open that up. Open up the second one. Go up these steps. Turn left. And then you're going to go down. And when you walk in this room, the item we're going for is right over there. So make your way to that item. There's a black Bokoblin in here. Head over here. You can ascend if you didn't make it to the top. Okay, once you're up here, let's go ahead and jump. Quickly open that up. And you now have the complete set for the Royal Guard uniform. There we go. I didn't leave you guys hanging. You got a full armor set. And just like that, you can now start your Tears of the Kingdom playthrough with some OP stuff with your shield. Oh my gosh, look how dope that is. With your bow, it looks amazing. It's just, oh, he looks great. And just like that, your Link now looks insanely great and OP at the same time. And there's a lot more items and a lot of cool stuff to do in this game Then I'll be making videos on them. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Tears of the Kingdom content. Oh, it's going to be amazing out here. And Link is going to conquer everything now from this point. And your game is starting off very OP. See you in the next video.